Hey YouTube, NextGen Tech here, back at it again with another video on the 2022 RLG Zephyrus G14. If you haven't watched the last video, the G14 I have is equipped with the Ryzen 9 6900HS CPU, a Radeon RX 6700S GPU, uh, which is actually the same Navi 23 chip found on the desktop 6600 XT, 1TB uh, of NVMe storage, and 24GB of DDR5 memory. Now with this being a 14 inch super portable powerhouse of a laptop and is marketed as such, ASUS does fail to mention how hot this device gets while under any kind of major load, at least the way it comes out of the box. But I'll get more into that in just a minute. First a message from, cue the intro. Take a breath before my ego pop. Play a set like I'm a handmade prop. Now the first thing to do is install all Windows updates and update all of your drivers, especially the BIOS updates and the ones in the My Asus app. But next you'll want to download Hardware Info, I'll have the link for that in the description. Uh, in my experience running Hardware Info while running some benchmarks in the background, the GPU would only reach about 83 to 85 degrees on turbo, but the CPU would reach over 90 degrees Celsius by around 15 minutes running any of the stock power presets. So I did some playing around with some of the settings in ASUS Armory Crate, and today I'm going to show you the best settings I found to get both good temps as well as losing minimal performance, and in some cases even gaining performance. Okay, so first press the M4 key on the top row of your keyboard boasting that sick ROG logo located just above the function keys along with your volume control keys to quickly open the software. If it doesn't open automatically to this page, go over to this little menu on the left uh, and click the icon with the eye on it. Um, then go down to the bottom and change your power mode to manual um, and just change your sliders here. Um, yours will look different than mine. I've already changed them, but change yours down to 30. Uh, this will limit the CPU power uh, to about 30 watts and then change the platform uh, SPPT down to about 90 watts. Um, that is the total uh, CPU TDP and GPU TDP as you can see. Um, so this just lowers the overall power consumption of your system and basic thermodynamics is less power uh, equals less heat so that's what we're doing here um, but you're not going to lose too much performance by doing this so I would definitely recommend it so from here I'm just going to show you guys my fan curves um, there's nothing special here I didn't really put too much thought into it um, so you may be able to get better results by tweaking these yourself um, but if you want to be lazy you can just copy mine they will work uh, this basic uh, principle of it is that the fans will ramp up to full speed when the system gets hot like they should. Uh, unlike the turbo setting that ASUS put on here, uh, stock for some reason. Uh, anyways, uh, we'll go up to the top here and apply uh, once you've done all that just so that everything saves. Um, and then let's see what else is in this software here you can change uh oh yeah i really like this uh game visual um feature in this software i have mine on vivid and uh i, I don't know i think it makes the screen look really crisp so you can play around with these um you might find something you like uh but i i like the vivid one and that's the one i would recommend um but honestly i'd say that's it um with those handful of settings you can drop your temps by just about 10 degrees in most cases while getting virtually the same performance if not a little better. I got one of these surprisingly good cooling pads from Amazon, um, I'll put the link down below. That helped a lot as well and I'll show you a few tests to show you guys the difference these things can make but stay tuned to the end of the video because for those of you who are willing to give up a bit more performance for the sake of the system staying cool and quiet, I'll be showing you a super quick way to do that. So now, let the games begin! So says Mundo.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the music, but now that you see just how much of a difference tweaking only a few settings can make, I don't see why you wouldn't. And now for those of you who want to see the system running extra cool and quiet, I'm going to show you a couple more settings that can help you do just that. So to do that, you'll just want to open up Windows Search and uh, open your power options or power plan settings. Um, the ones in control panel, make sure it's not in Windows settings. Uh, change advanced power options and go to processor power management, processor performance boost mode, um, and then plugged in you want to change this to disabled. Um, pretty much this will disable your CPU from boosting past its stock clock speed. Uh, so this will help a lot with temperatures and power consumption. Um, but I have mine on efficient enabled uh, because it doesn't take as much of a hit on performance, if any at all. Um, but still allows it to boost unlike the having it completely disabled which will take a bigger hit on performance um, but if you don't have this setting uh, what you'll want to do is just press Windows key and R and then type in reg edit as you can see there uh, go ahead and open it and then what you want to do is go to H key local machine uh, go down to system go down to current control set control uh, look for power, then go to power settings, and then find the one that's 5453351. Open that, and then the next one starts with BE. Here we go, BE337238. Uh, and then from here, you'll want to go to attributes, and then uh, change this value to 2. So uh, it might be one um, out of the box. So just change this value to two, hit OK. Um, and then you should be good. Just go ahead and exit. Um, and then that's pretty much it. And that's also pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed today's music selection, hit that thumbs up button down below. And if this video was able to help you out in any way, let me know in that comment section. Thank you for watching and subscribe for the next one. Peace.